Good afternoon on what is a mild uh, and blustery day, a uh, break between the um, Arctic blasts we are promised. It is Tuesday the 30th of November. I'm back in the reek nook. I'm going to start a cup of tea. And um, the first thing, the things I'm going to unbox today is a board game, which is Alien, the Fate of the Nostromo. Uh, which promises in space no one can hear you scream. Now, of late, we have had uh, more than a few board games um, and uh, properties essentially based upon really the action of aliens rather than the horror of um, Alien. Uh, so this kind of sets things right. So there is a, um, you know, there's, a, there's an Aliens miniature game, um, board game and of course there's the role-playing game from Free League uh, which is very good um, but uh, essentially uh, you would think possibly that the uh, original film would not make a good board game but you would think that what's interesting here is that what we've got a board game uh, basically based on a property that is 40 years old um, and of course um, there would have been toys uh, out at the time uh, mostly sort of like action, the action figures and that sort of thing, not necessarily games. And it's likely that any game came out at the time based upon Alien um, would have been fairly simplistic because that was the basically the, the mode when it came to uh, designing games built around uh, intellectual properties. Make them fast, get them out, move on. So it would have been, you know, like a roll and move game or a card game of some kind. Not particularly interesting or necessarily particularly thematic. But 40 years on, times have changed. Game design has it has come on, you know, uh, leaps and bounds. So that um, if you take an intellectual property, you can get a good board game out of it. For example, the Battlestar Galactica board game. Um, still 10 years on, fantastic piece of design that actually meets um, expectations when you come to telling a story set in the Battlestar Galactica universe. Uh, and so. Um, I have high expectations of Alien because um, I've already looked at um, Jaws um, uh, and um, uh, Jaws and Horrified, which is from from Ravensburger, um, and um, they were really very good. I mean, um, Jaws is a fantastic recreation of the film, and Horrified has is is, is a is a, um, a good um, essentially. Um, if you basically work to get a good game, if you work together to face the universal monsters of the 1930s, and uh, you know they're both co-op games, they're both accessible. Everyone knows the themes and can understand what they have to do when they play the game, even if even even if not necessarily the mechanics themselves are not immediately obvious. Now they are. If you're if you're a long-time board gamer, they will be obvious because in some ways um, there are elements of them um, which um, essentially. Design-wise, lean back towards pandemic. Sorry, pandemic. Sorry, pandemic. Uh, board game uh, designed by Matt Leacock um, in uh, basically you know, 20, 2008, 20, uh, um, 2009. Um, so anyway, Alien, uh, Alien: The Fate of Nostromo. Um, incoming transmission. Perfect organism. Its structure, its structural perfection, it is matched only by its hostility. An alien stalks the corridors of the commercial starship Nostromo, hunting you and your crewmates. Work together to move through the ship, gather supplies and craft items to survive. Proceed carefully. The alien could be just around the corner. And remember, in space no one can hear you scream. Um, and uh, so what we've got on the back, um, we have um, basically this display of text, display of the board, the miniatures that come in the game, and there's an option there for adding ash um, essentially for a more challenging game and uh, choose from five different final missions and also this this is sealed okay it's designed I'm going to say it's designed where is it we'll say designed for ages 10 plus uh, one to five a crew one to five um, 45 minutes to 45 to 60 minutes okay now uh, I'm basically thinking 10 plus for a game for a board game uh, basically based on Alien, really? Okay, especially when Jaws was 12 plus. Anyway, uh, hold on a minute, come on then. Um, I've got a visitation from the cat that is not ours, I don't know whether he's going to come up. But another interesting thing is the seal, the top seal on the, board, on the game, 
is, here he is, there we go, is the Whale Mutani um, corporate logo. That's a nice touch. So let's get the knife and carefully open the box, avoiding cutting open the cat. Because, you know, as much as he, he enjoys li uh, basically living in our back garden, I don't think he's up for that. And neither am I. Uh, so let's just cut the seal. So it's one seal done. Um, just really. There we go. Yeah, basically, once the seal, first seal's done, it comes off. There it is, yeah. Yeah, he's not helping, is he? Okay, and last one. Let's see if I can very gently just do this, just, there we go. And give him a fuss for all his help. Because he really has been help, he's been a helpful boy, hasn't, hasn't he? So, let's open this, 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 this game up. And, uh, the first thing that meets your eye upon opening this game is, oh, um, is that uh, picture of James the Cat obviously reacting to an alien. And that's the first thing you see. That's a great touch. You know, it adds nothing to actual gameplay, but design-wise, you know, they've gone out of their way to paint this on the back, or presumably on the back of the, the, the board. Um, so pull this out. Um, and what we've got is the board. Just the, that addition is just a fantastic, um, uh, just addition. Doesn't, as I say, doesn't add anything, but anyway. So open up the board, uh, and what we've got um, uh, is a deck plant of Nostromo. So just trying to do this around this cat is, uh, <laughs> is an added challenge. Um, it's a whole lot easier when it's a book. And he really is pleased to see me. So I can see basically the, the deck panel on the Stromo, the various locations, uh, done in three, sort of like three dimensions. Um, and you've got um, a truck crew morale tracker, uh, and that's essentially, um, um, ba basically, um, crew members of the USS Nostromo are required to regularly evaluate mental acuity. The assessment is mandatory per YW, uh, re uh, regulation 2232-4. Uh, so we've got uh, sections on here of the main deck, uh, mother, bridge, galley, uh, hypersleep. Um, and we've got a picture of the whole, basically the whole ship as well. Um, and right down to, so here we go, we've got um, the bridge and mother up there, right down onto the lower deck where you've got a nest, just there. So let's, um, uh, oh, let's just see if I can fold this up, because it's, it's um, does it fold up like that? No, it does, can't do, because that must fold up like that. Yeah. Fun in, game, in, 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 in board games. So, um, the rules, uh, situation critical, report issued by Dallas uh, Arthur. An alien is stalking us uh, on board the Nostromo, and executive officer Kane is dead. The remaining crew and I work together to patch the ship and do what we can to survive. Um, I don't know if we'll make it. The alien is big, fast, and deadly, and could be waiting just beyond the next hatch. So, we have a li list of the crew status there, including um, executive officer Kane. Deceased. All the other ones are alive. And then we've got a picture of all the things you get in the game on the, on the cut right there. Um, so here it is set up. Again, these rules are not particularly complex as I understand them. Um, you really just basically go around collecting things and trying to avoid the alien, trying to run away. Uh, you don't necessarily die, but your morale does suffer. Um, hence, I think um, probably that explains the age um, limitation of 10 rather than 12 you know it's not a game in which you can't um, uh, can't basically you can be defeated but you can't necessarily die so and lastly on the last page you have um, uh, the section for introducing Ash to your game and basically with his famous line I can't lie, I can't lie about your chances um, fantastically played by the late um, Ian Holm um, at, uh, who is also famous for playing both um, uh, Frodo and Bilbo Baggins. So here we've got the counters, different locations, um, and these are the parts of the ship you've got to basically collect um, and essentially set the plunger sort of thing um, later in the game to ex uh, destroy um, the Nostromo. 
um, and then you've got the little stands uh, and these are the plastic figures so let's have a look at these who see who we can identify who they are so um i think but, uh, there we go it's one they're not overly detailed but they work so that's probably um it's either lambert or ripley they're not quite sure um, Uh, yeah what well, okay yeah don't bite me d d yeah biting me doesn't get you anywhere he's so desperate for attention he's going yeah yeah come on stop talking um so there we've got parker um, um basically played by the late yafet koto um that, uh, what else we got in here yes um Okay, that was Lambert. No, that, wasn't. That, that was Lambert. There we go. Um, and um, Ripley. So, what else we've got in here? Uh, uh, and that's going to be. Ooh. Sorry, here we've got Dallas. Uh, that's the place the character played by Dean Stanton. I'll just take, my, take your feet out of my game. Uh, no, oh. Um, there's Dallas. Sorry, added cat. He does want to get involved in the Navy. You've got the, the alien itself. Uh, decent enough sculpt, essentially, for a game of, you know, this, 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 this quality. Um, that, uh, Yeah, so um, deck of cards, um, we've basically got, a, essentially there you've got the um, cheat card, essentially the reference card, and um, basically other um, basic objectives. Um, and then, um, we've got the final section, escape on the Arcturus, I think there's going to be five of those. So it says, set up, place all discarded coolant canisters in the equipment storage objective. Drop one coolant canister in the docking bay for each crew member. The crew member must have a cat carrier and incinerate it in inventory. All crew members must assemble in the docking bay. That's how you escape. And then we have the character cards. And these are quite large, actually. Um, and I think it's really great the fact also these all come in Ziploc bags for easy handling. So we've got... Um, um, Essentially, Ripley, um, four actions, her special action, and the four items you can carry. So, actually, spend an action, move a crew member one space. Um, Dallas uh, doesn't have a special ability but has five actions. Um, some of the basic on the back you've got basically Wayne Utani, um, basically, and for the Neos Astromo, um, and the, basically, almost as if this is not like an um, ID. Oh, it's Brett, isn't it? Brett, 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 Harry Dean Stanton, and he basically he's got three actions, but can reduce the cost of any item um, that costs two or more scrap by one scrap. Items that don't take, in, take uh, items don't take an action to craft. So he's good at putting things together, as you would expect, as one of the engineers. Uh, Parker, um, he's got four actions. He's chief engineer. Um, at uh, bend an action, scrap well, add one scrap geometry from the scrap pile. Use only once per turn. Go. I mean, great artwork as well. These are really well illustrated. And Lambert, who is um, the um, navigator, so an action. Look at the top card of the encounter deck, and you may put it to the bottom of the deck. There we go. So yeah, that is um, uh, everything you get in this game. Uh, so I think you get your money's worth. Um, miniatures are not absolutely fantastic, but they're good enough. You know, for a game like this, um, I think they're they're perfect. Uh, so what else have we got? So um, yeah, I if you um, so if you're a fan of um, sorry, if you're a fan of uh, Jones um, or you know Alien, then you probably want this one in your collection. Uh, say short playing time and um, I think uh, you know basically 
presents all like a bit of a challenge, basically a puzzle challenge more than a combat challenge and a survival challenge. Uh, so that alien uh, fate on the Nostromo. Um, and the great thing about this is, like Jaws, like Horrified, it will be available in on you know um, uh, on your local high street, um, at, uh, or, and from your friendly local gaming shop. Anyway, thanks again for watching another unboxing in the Nook. If you've enjoyed this, please do click the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you posting those. I do take the time to, to respond. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, where you will see me out here um, with a, a board game or a package um, containing a game or book, which I will unbox and uh, essentially um, talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for 15 minutes, sorry, for 10 minutes or so. Uh, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. And um, sometimes a cat who is not ours, then please do hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll be back again soon with another unboxing the look. Bye for now.